this episode of DIY 3D Tech Tech.com. In this episode, it's kind of a long overdue episode because I want to talk in this one about K40 Whisper. So this is put out by a gentleman uh, who has a channel and a site uh, called Scorchworks. Now, I think this is a bit of a game changer, if you will, in the K40 laser arena. So uh, lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, laser draw and, and all the other associated programs that go along with the K40 laser and issues people are having. And basically, what uh, Scorchworks has done is taken that whole problem away. Because one of the things I want to I want to uh, point out is this dongle that you see here. Uh, I was always under the impression that the software picked up some sort of key from this dongle that interacted with the controller board and the laser. That does not seem to be the case uh, because with what Scorchworks is, has achieved here is written a program in Python which effectively takes away the need of that dongle and that driver and talks directly to the K40 laser printer. And you can take a DXF or an SVG file and you know cut or rasterize to uh, the uh, laser cutter, which is just simply amazing. So it's very clear now that this is some sort of only controller board, much like you know garble, something like that. So I think there's a lot of opportunities for folks out there in the software development world to really develop for the K40 laser. And let's do away with all this Chinese laser draw nonsense and having to get a bootleg copy of Corel Draw to make this thing work, etc. So with that, I want to talk a little bit about how the K40 Whisperer works. Now, this is not going to be a detailed how-to. Uh, I'll put some links to Scorchworks website and uh, we can get the software as well as instructions on it and his YouTube channel. He's done all this kind of stuff. Uh, basically, I want to share with my community what Scorchworks has done because I think this is of huge value and I'm not sure why it's not getting uh, more publicity than what it is and hopefully this will... Uh, bring a little bit more attention to it. So, you know, again, uh, please share this in the K40 community. If you haven't seen it already, please share it with inside your communities. I know it's been out there for a while. And my apologies to Scorchworks for actually not getting to this sooner, but it's just been a pretty busy summer. So anyways, with that said, this uh, he's written this in Python and compiled it. So I believe there's also a Linux version plus a pre-compiled Windows version. Now, one of the things that you will need to do if you're a Windows user is uh, install uh, Zadig, which is basically matches up a third-party USB device with a driver. So Scorchworks uh, Python application can work with it. Again, I'm not going to go into this detail. He's got it on his website. I'll have links for it below. Uh, but one of the things that I, I do want to share is for me uh, on Windows 10, I had to go with Option 7A here. And, uh, you know, basically this is a semi one way street because once you do this, obviously, uh, as he points out, you probably won't work with the existing software. But I tell you what, I've had such good luck with uh, Scorchworks' K40 Whisperer, I haven't gone back to the other. So this has sort of been a one way street for me and I've been a, it's been a very happy one way street. So I do have it up here so you can kind of see what it looks like. And so I'm going to go back here. It's kind of jumped to the camera. So here is my uh, laser. And this is pretty much what you should expect to see is something that looks like this um, in, in the uh, selection box. Now, one of the things you do have to do, as he points out, is, hit, is select the list all devices. And you should get a list, as you saw, of all your USB connected devices. And this is the driver that I installed. Uh, to make it all work and then you just hit install driver. Uh, did not require a reboot for me, so this is a good thing. Now, a little tip. Sometimes under Windows 10, it appears to lose this driver. Just keep Zadig handy. Go back. Just repeat the process again. If you're starting to have problems where it says laser doesn't initialize because what you'll do is initialize the laser over here. I've already initialized mine. It's connected. Um, so anyways, uh, just kind of a little footnote there. Now, once you go into here, we do have some settings. So general settings he's got set up. So it does integrate with Inkscape, so you can connect Inkscape to it. Uh, it does have a setting for board. Mine was the Laser M2. It picked it, picked it up right off the bat. I don't know if it auto detects it, but this is what mine is. So uh, good job. Also set the area. Then just save out the configuration file. I'm just going to say yes to replace it and close this out. Now, uh, one of the things you can you can move the uh, 
uh, head again with these and then uh, you know so you can jog it around and then you also have settings down here for vector cut speed and vector engraved speed as well as rasterize I tell you this I'm you know he's released it free to the community grab a copy before he figures out what this thing's worth so uh, I highly recommend it and again what you simply do is you can go in here and I'm going to open up an SVG file uh, which I ha actually had open and okay so we've opened an SVG file that created this in Inkscape now uh, what else I like that uh, Scorchworks has done inside this application is red vector lines cut blue vector lines engrave so it'll switch between uh, vector cutting and engraving or it knows the difference when you select it so if you select vector engrave it's going to pick up the blue lines Now I don't have blue lines in this particular drawing uh, because this is simply a cut but I just wanted to use this as an example and again I created this in Inkscape so works great I just loaded my SVG file you know hit cut most of what I do is cut I do very little engraving so I don't have a lot of experience with the engrave but if it works anything like the cut you should be good to go so again I've been highly impressed with this I'll have links below um, if you've been thinking about getting a laser cutter you know a k40 type style laser cutter I definitely encourage you now uh, because of this software again does away with all that other Chinese nonsense of uh, you know Chinese menus drivers yada 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 so uh, again I've been using this for quite a while now and again my apologies I haven't gotten to review on this not really a review but just kind of sharing this with my community out there that's interested in the k40 laser just been a lack of time but I can't give this, I, I can only give it two thumbs up because I only got two thumbs. If I had four thumbs, I'd give it four. And what my hope is, is communicating this out there. Again, Scorchworks has done a fantastic job, but I think there's also opportunity for all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, adding in another access for uh, the rotary tool. And, and I think for the um, whole K40 community to pick this up. Again, he's done this in Python, so pretty straightforward programming language. And Zadig provides an easy USB interface. And so um, I think this is crazy good. So again, uh, just wanted to share this with you guys out there because I've been getting a lot of questions uh, on the channel about uh, issues with um, uh, Corel Draw Laser Edition or whatever they're uh, using for this that you have to go out and find bootlegs. So, Again, um, hey, don't forget to swag shop up in the corner and comment below if you got any questions or whatever. I'll have links to all this below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.